Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 2D uh, car game, it's like in a circuit uh, track, it's not a racing game because there's no other cars to compete with, but after I show you the code for just moving the car around, and it shows the speed as well, you can actually make your own uh, racing game, or you can add a shop, or yeah, it also slows down over time if you're not accelerating, and yeah, that's it uh, for the game. So, let me show you how to make this. You can actually add a shop and more cars to upgrade with, but this is just a simple uh, moving the car game. It's not a game, it's just well, a simulation. You can add your own features, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video. So to start it off, we just need to, well, let's just delete this scratch cat because we won't be using it, of course. And let's get the sprites. There's only one sprite in the backdrop. I have the same backdrop in my backpack. I'll use this. And I have an image of a car in my backpack as well. Which I'll be getting. And this car isn't, well, properly. It is too big. So let's make it a bit more smaller. You can use the size t tool. Like, you can use the... You can set size to whatever you want, or you can just change the costume itself. I'm going to be just changing the costume. And also, rotate it to be nine, facing 90 degrees, because otherwise the game won't work, and it'll move, it'll move weirdly. That'll, that's what I would say. Uh, so let's start with just it pointing 90 degrees, uh, and going to this position. Yeah, that's about where maybe, maybe this is more, yeah, this seems fine. So let's make it go there. It's kind of, uh, not 90 degrees, let's just make it, yeah, it seems fine now. Uh, and yeah, we need two variables. One will be the speed, or let's just make it, yeah, let's make it car speed. And one will be the actual speed that will be displayed over here, which is gonna diff which is gonna be different than the speed. So let's make it look nice because we'll be displaying it. And let's make it go to the center, and we'll not be showing the car speed. So when clicked, let's set this uh, car speed to zero. And forever, let's do. We change the uh, move steps by the car, uh, car speed steps. And let's also make it so that it turns when we uh, press the right and left arrow keys. So if you're pressing the right arrow key, then it's going to turn turn this way for maybe two degrees is fine and left arrow key will be turning this way two degrees and let's make the acceleration so I'm just gonna duplicate that and forever loop in the forever loop you put up arrow so if you press the up arrow then it, it changes the speed by one change car speed by one and we'll put a 0 0.1 uh, time d like time wait because if we now it's gonna just go super fast so we should put like a block time for 0 0.1 seconds and same here but we'll change the car speed so it's decelerating and this one's accelerating so yeah same thing just going backwards i guess uh, I need to change this from left arrow to down arrow. Yeah, you can go forward and backward. But here, when we go forward, well, it, it the speed eventually decreases like it would do in a normal car. But here, you can just click it once and it will just keep moving. So yeah, we'll put the code for that now. So... In another uh, 
uh, forever loop. I'm making many forever loops because I just keep the code more organized, I guess, for in my opinion. So let's do that. If we can get rid of this stuff in the if statements. Uh, so if the the speed is more than the car speed is more than zero then every 0 0.2 seconds uh it decreases this uh, car speed by 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 and but if it's uh going backwards it also should stop so right now it's gonna well yes it's gonna stop if we go backwards it's just gonna keep moving so we also need a code for that so let's do just the opposite and we do yeah wait 0 0.2 seconds but we change the car speed by 0 0.2 so now it should work both for front and back uh, so now we need to display our speed. We're almost done with our code. Uh, but actually, we're not done yet because we need to make it so that if it touches the green thing, then it should slow down. Because now we can just go through the green thing. Yeah. So let's do another if statement just to keep it more organized. So if. It's touching color. This color. Then we're gonna set speed to zero, the car speed. We're gonna work with this speed later, the display speed. It's just gonna be one block of code. It's pretty simple. I'll explain how it works later. And yeah, that should be. Well, actually, if you set it to zero, it's not gonna move, move at all. So we should slow it down by a lot. So let's do 0 0.2. So now it just goes really slow. Yeah. So now if we hit the green part and it goes really slow, we need time to get out of it. And then, yeah, it works. So now let's work with this speed. We're almost done with our code. Uh, so set, uh, let's do set speed. So first we're going to take the absolute value because we can't do minus one kilometers per hour or minus five kilometers per hour because that's just not a thing. Uh, so we need to do absolute. If you don't know what absolute is, it's just like... Even if it's negative value, it just changes to positive. So absolute of, and then let's do floor of. So we need to round the value. We don't want decimal uh, speeds like 0 0.1 kilometer per hour or something like that. So let's do floor. Uh, of the speed car speed but car speed will be like one or two and we don't want our three and we don't want like three kilometers per hour because that's really less and that's not really realistic so we'll just multiply the car speed by five when we're displaying it so let's do floor of this car speed multiplied by five and the absolute value of that and we need to, and right now, if you play the game, it's going to just show the speed. It's kind of realistic because it shows. You can uh, multiply it by even more if you want. But I think this is fine for me. And we need to then, well, have this kilometer per hour thing. So how we do that is we can use the inbuilt join thingy. So we can just put all this over here and then join a space so first put a space and then kilometer slash hour and here we have our game uh, that we showed here 
yeah so well this again this doesn't have any objective you don't have to complete anything so you can add a shop you can turn this into a racing game you can even add an ai car which races with you or you can do the two player game uh so one one of them uses arrow keys and other one uses wasd uh yeah you can do whatever you want with those but i think uh this will be it for this video if you liked it then well of course like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video